So today I'm going to be making this simple step stool and then jazzing it up using my X-Carve CNC machine. And if you want to see how I do it, then stick around. I had some 1x6s, so that's what I decided to use for the project. I cut them into pieces at the miter and then ripped them into strips at the table saw. Then I glued them up and put them in clamps for about an hour to dry. I did use the salt trick. Um, what this does is keep the pieces from moving around while you're gluing them up. Just to give myself a visual while I'm building this, I went ahead and used a compass to draw the circle. This way I could visualize how big the legs needed to be for the next step. Once I got that figured out, I turned my blade to 7 degrees, then put a miter on both of the ends on all of the legs. However, I wasn't happy with the way that it looked once I actually got them on the stool, so I decided to use a compound miter instead. So I went back to the table saw and once again turned my blade to 7 degrees, but this time I also adjusted my miter gauge to be 7 degrees as well. Then I repeated the same steps, putting in a 7 degree compound miter on both ends on all of the legs. It's a small little difference, but I really think that this looks a lot better. Next I set up the program to do the carving for the top. I am using the X-Carve CNC here, uh, made by Inventables.com. This is my personal stool, so I decided to go with a compass rose image. I really found the carving process interesting to watch, so I sped some of the footage up for you to see. Now I did mess up five of these before I was able to get one done, but finally I was able to get one completed without any errors in it. And I must say, I think it's pretty radical. Um, and it turned out pretty good. It was a little fuzzy, but nothing a little sandpaper couldn't take care of. I wanted my stool to be round, so I just stuck a compass on it to draw out the circle, then used a bandsaw to actually make the cut. I put a few pocket holes in the legs and attached them. However, when I flipped the stool over, I wasn't happy with the way it looked. I thought it was just really plain and boring, to be honest. Except for that top. I think that's cool. <laughs> So I decided to take it apart and first I went over with the roundover bit on the top and the bottom. Then I went to the miter saw and cut in a few of these, uh, I guess, cross braces, again at seven degrees. I put in a few more pocket holes, then started attaching everything. I put four braces at the top and then also four near the bottom, making sure to stagger them so that the screws wouldn't run into one another. I gave it a little test and then a coat of stain. And there we are. It's a very simple stool, um, but I wanted something kind of decorative for around the house so that whenever I wasn't using it, I could just leave it hanging out instead of it having to like tuck away in a utility closet or something. Now, I realize that the majority of you don't have a CNC machine. So keep in mind that you can very well just buy or make your own stencil for whatever design you want for the top. Um, you could also hand paint something, or I guess if you're talented enough, you could try to hand carve something. That's a little bit outside of my talent range, but maybe it's within yours. I also think that this would make a good, like maybe craft day uh, selling item. You could do a whole bunch of different designs, a, a Captain America shield or a, a ladybug, you know, just have a whole assortment and sell them for relatively cheap because it was very easy to make. Now, just full disclosure, um, Inventables.com did send me the CNC machine for free in exchange for my honest review on it. And I went ahead and made a separate video for that review because this was my fifth attempt to, to make this stool head here. And so, yeah, I just made a separate video talking about my first time experience using it, the assembly process, and also my two cents overall on the machine. So you can check that out here, but I've also left you a link in the description of the video. So if you want to make your own stool, I do have a written tutorial with more details posted on my website at wilkerdues.com. So check that out if you want to make one. And that's it for this one. I hope you're having a great week, and I will see you soon.